Welcome to Red Tastic. Story 1. I have a son who I actually have a decent relationship with. Despite all of this, he has a 7-year-old son who I haven't seen in 5 years and a 3-year-old son I've never met. My daughter-in-law and I do not get along and she convinced him to go no contact as well, but he wanted a relationship and threatened to divorce her. There was a lot of tension and we were both probably at fault, but she gave me an ultimatum that I had to choose between my brother and my grandson. So I laughed at her and chose my brother. My brother is in no way dangerous, just a serial cheater and was in the process of a very messy divorce. My daughter-in-law was offended and I do understand that my brother is an ass, but she told me I had to stop inviting him to family gatherings or completely lose contact with my son and his family. I told her she has no right to dictate what I do in my house and we went no contact. I reconnected with my son a year into it, but I have no relationship with my grandchildren. My son called upset the other day and said they are going to lose their house and asked me for a loan. I was actually furious that they would even ask me. He tried to use the kids to guilt me but I hardly know one and have never met the other, so I don't have a real connection. I told him no and that it was rude to even ask because they are a couple. So if I loan money to him, I am really loaning it to them. He tried to use the kids again, but I reminded him that I don't know his kids. He understood, but she called me later and broke down in tears. I told her she needs to call her own mother because why on earth would I loan them money after five years? I already have a good relationship with my son. I'm highly suspicious that this marriage is going to last, based on what he tells me. And at this point, I'm not too interested in the kids. It wouldn't hurt me financially, but on principle, I would only loan money to someone I was very close to. The money is yours, OP. You get to decide what you choose to do with it or not do with it. If you have a principle of only giving or loaning money to someone you're very close to, then based on this alone, you can keep your money. But you should remember that your son is also involved in this. You said you have a decent relationship with him and two innocent kids are in this too. I think you shouldn't let your anger and hate for your daughter-in-law cloud your thinking. But then again, at the end of the day, it's your money. So just do whatever you want with it. Now for some comments. Not the a-hole. The daughter-in-law has some nerve asking for money after she gave you an ultimatum, making you choose between your brother or your grandchildren. You made the choice after she forced your hand, but to come back after five years to beg for money is tacky as hell. She made her choices and so did you. No one is entitled to your money. OP, it seems to me that you're hoping this financial stress will be the crack that causes your son and his wife's relationship to fail. This seems a little manipulative and underhanded, but then I'd be pretty pissed at someone that cut me off from my grandkids completely too. I can't really say you're an a-hole for refusing to give money to the daughter-in-law. I probably wouldn't either, but I find some of your justifications a little callous and manipulative. If there were no daughter-in-law or grandkids, you would probably help your son. So just admit you're so petty, you'd refuse to ever help at all because of daughter-in-law. 100% not the a-hole. I'm a daughter-in-law. I'm estranged from my father-in-law and have not spoken to him in five years. He has met my older child but not my younger one. Father-in-law occasionally speaks to my husband, his son, so basically my situation is identical. I would ask if this letter was about me but I know that I'm not going to lose my house and there is no way in hell I would even think to ask my father-in-law for money. We have no relationship. He's not obligated to help me. I know he basically has no relationship with my kids. So I would never use them as bargaining tools. They made their bed. They can lie in it. Make sure you disinherit the son. My father-in-law already did that. Story 2 I, 39 male, have been with my girlfriend now for four years. Our relationship started as an affair, as she was married to her ex-husband at the time. I was also married. I'm not proud of it, but it is what it is. She and her ex-husband have a daughter together, who is now 19. I have four kids of my own with my ex-wife. My wife's ex-husband isn't in his daughter's life much, 
so she lives here with my family. We have only been living all together for the past seven months or so. She's never liked me and has always told me I'm the reason her family was broken apart. She's great with my kids, offers to babysit them and they love her, but it's the opposite with me. She's extremely cold and doesn't listen to a word I say when her mom isn't around. She goes out of her way to piss me off, including bringing her boyfriend round when we haven't allowed it. Every year, my parents plan a big family vacation to their vacation home on Vancouver Island. This is the first one where my parents have told me to bring my wife and stepdaughter because they're living with us now. I brought it up at the dinner table and mentioned to my stepdaughter that she could stay with a boyfriend the week we would be gone. I hadn't mentioned to my wife that I didn't want her to come so they both asked why. She initially thought it was because I didn't want to pay for her so she got quite upset and told me that if money was the issue she wouldn't mind paying herself as she would really like to go. I told her that if she couldn't be a part of my family at home, how could she expect to want to be part of my family when we go on vacation? She went quiet and it wasn't spoken about again. My wife didn't think she was too bothered at first because she's a teenager and has that don't talk to me vibe about her. But my stepdaughter later confided in my wife about how excluded she feels from the family and that she wants to go and live with her dad. My wife is now furious with me saying I make absolutely no effort with her, but she makes even less effort with me. Am I the a-hole? You're the a-hole OP, you're the adult, and also the one who wronged her. It is your job to make the effort, not hers. She is good with the step-siblings and they are family. You had an opportunity to try and begin to build a relationship with her, and instead you punished her for what? Not being immediately thrilled about living with the guy who broke up with her family, she has a right to be angry. With time, she may have been able to get past it. If you were actually a decent person to her, but you weren't, you blamed her for being justifiably upset and then punished her for it. You're an a-hole. Now for some comments. You are the a-hole. You are supposed to be an adult and model behavior, not teach hate. She is angry with you for an act you committed that showed horrible morals. She has been mature enough not to hold that choice against your own children. Showing her to be more mature than you, grow up. You slept with a married woman. She has every reason to question your moral compass. Now you have proven you are of no class. You're the a-hole. Why is the way she treats you the most important factor here? She will be vacationing with the step-siblings who she loves and they love her back. So aren't they important, not to mention your new wife? Since your parents invited her, you have no say in this. Oh, she makes you uncomfortable for ending her parents' marriage? Be a man, tough it out. Or be a man and whine about how bad everything is for you, your choice. You're the a-hole. Your parents said to bring your wife and the stepdaughter. Therefore, you bring both. They invited both. It's not your job to stop your stepdaughter going when your parents extended her the invitation. Of course she doesn't like you. Her mother cheated on her father with you. Why would she like you? Why would she listen to you? You're not her father and considering you cheated on your wife and helped her mother cheat on her father, from her point of view, you probably don't have much moral fiber or really any adult authority at all. Your kids love her, so it seems she is a part of the family, just not to you. It does seem like the only issue is between you and her, and gee, I wonder why that is. Story 3 I had a date with a girl. We had been messaging back and forth for a couple of weeks, and I said we should meet and get to know each other. She agreed and we set a time and place. We met outside and made our way in together, making small talk. We got to our table and the conversation flowed. It looked like it was going good. The topic got on to previous dates we had, mainly the bad ones. She said she had quite bad luck with dates and guys being only after one thing. She then made the comment, I hope just because you're buying dinner, you don't expect me to sleep with you. I was a little taken aback with that and said, no, of course not. She just rolled her eyes. We got back to normal conversation for a bit, but I have to admit that after those comments, I was put off by her. The date carried on but the vibe was dead and I wasn't interested in seeing her again or carrying on any kind of relationship. 
When the check came, I put down my card and the server brought over the machine. I gave him my card and said to split the check. She looked surprised at me and started to reach for her bag. She asked the server if he could give us a minute. When looking in her bag, she angrily said, I thought you were paying. I kind of sarcastically replied just because I asked you out, you shouldn't expect that I would buy you dinner. If looks could kill, I would be dead. She mumbled that I was an a-hole and pulled her card out. We left quickly after that and went our separate ways. I told a friend this and she said I was an a-hole for doing that as I asked her out. I said I'm just following her rules and did not expect anything. Am I the a-hole here? Now for some comments. Not the a-hole. I don't care who asks to. That's such an old way of dating. She literally asked you if you were going to ditch her after having anything physical happen to her and then rolled her eyes at you when you responded. If someone thought that poorly of me, I wouldn't be paying for their food either. Good luck at finding yourself someone you click with. You're the a-hole. Your sarcasm at the end pushed it out of everyone's sucksia territory. I completely agree that she was rude and presumptuous. There were ways she could have addressed the issue while keeping the vibe going, but her eye roll immediately made her an a-hole. I think it would have been fine for you to politely cut dinner short and get everything to go, depending on where you were in the meal. However, your comment suggests that perhaps she was right after all. And even if she wasn't, there is no way she would come to any other conclusion based on what you said. You're the a-hole, not because you wanted to split the check, for thinking what she said was rude, and treating it as a personal attack. I don't think those daggers she was staring at you were because she had to pay for herself. I think they came from the implication that you were making her pay because she didn't want to have sex with you, proving the idea that you may think, if you pay, she owes you sex. Do you not see how pulling that last second, with your snarky comment, comes across as you only being on the date for sex?